hey guys welcome back so today i have for you a new additions to my wardrobe for fall um this is basically our well it is a haul but uh, other for one thing that i did repurchase back from my wardrobe which does sound stupid but i'll make sense in it in a while um there basically are a lot of new stuff so here it is I feel funny because I think I have a color scheme and I didn't notice so you're gonna see a lot of beige uh, a lot of brown and yes uh, white and black here and there just basically just all monochrome so me so let's start now I do have a bit of a cold so I do apologize you're gonna hear a sniffling here and there but I'm gonna try <laughs> to work with this cold so I hope that you guys do as well so now the first thing that I needed to add into my wardrobe was a turtleneck. Now I do own one from Sarah last year. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that everything is from Sarah. You know that it's my favorite store. Um, going back to it. So I wanted to find a black turtleneck, just something really simple. Um, so of course I went to Sarah. Now I did want it more of a high neck, not a turtle one, but unfortunately I didn't one found that I like and this one. I think what it kind of gets me always are this uh gold buttons on the sleeve which Sarah always brings them but I love it um, I like to tuck it in, in jeans I decided to win smaller for this one um, but still um, it still looks a, a little bit loose which I kind of love so it does run big um, but yes I think it's something so simple so classic and I love the fact that it's so lightweight that I can wear it even on my weather so let me show you how it looks now I'm wearing obviously the turtleneck and I mentioned you guys before I love the buttons I think it's such a beautiful detail that it has and again like I mentioned you it's perfect to tuck it in but it still has some material which it still is comfortable but I just really love a black turtleneck I think it's so cheap it's so simple and so basic but it works great with everything especially with a print like this so yeah now the next thing that I wanted to add is this, almost like this teddy fabric. I mean, I think it's described as a soft fill top, um, but I've seen these ones everywhere. Um, but something that I noticed is that in a lot of people, it looks really fitted. I'm not a fan of like really um, tied up tops. So I decided to go large for this one. And I think that is the key. Um, now, as you can see, it's this gorgeous brown chocolate color. And I don't know, I just really love the texture on this. It's really soft, as it says. And I'm really happy feeling like really brown and beige right now. So I knew that the moment that I saw it, I was gonna wear this maybe with a pair of white jeans. But I really love the way that it looks. Although even though that because I went size up, I feel like in the shoulders or the sleeves, it looks a little bit more big. But I can work with it because I feel like I do love still that oversized feel. So let me show you how it looks. Okay, so this is the soft material <laughs> sweater, which I describe it as a teddy. A teddy uh, knit, but yep. See what I mean when it comes to sizing it up? That it just looks non-fitted more in the stomach, but obviously on the arms right here, it looks a little bit big, but I love it. Okay. Then I wanted to buy some corduroy. I still remember what I used to own. I think there were a white pair of corduroys when I was younger and I remember that I wore them to death. It's just a material that I really love and I kind of also enjoy the fact that it's coming back. So I decided this time to go for a corduroy top. Um, and this one, I think what I kind of love is that it looks almost like a men's style top. Um, Obviously, I had to get the fact that the buttons are tortoiseshell, which is so me. But it looks a little bit big, a little bit boxy, um, almost exactly like you're stealing from your boyfriend. Um, but I do love overall how it looks. And again, I knew that with white jeans was going to look perfect and with a pair of heels. And I also love the fact that it's really long. So I feel like I can wear this also as a jacket if I wanted to but i think what i'm mostly obsessed of is the color i mean it looks on the screen almost like an olive green but actually it's more into like a brownie beige so let me show you okay guys so this is the cold array top um that i mentioned you that it looks almost like an olive green but actually it's, it's more into the beigey brown um it's really long has a lot of material though so i'm really trying to tuck it in on my jeans um but again, I just really love the buttons, love the fit. Um, oh my gosh, it has the label there. But love, obviously, how it looks on white. I 
and I also love this sleeve because it really just fits you in and again I think this can work as a jacket as well which I do like Now, would it not be normal for me to pick just a white tee? As you know, I live on them. They look, they're just like my favorite basic pits to always own. So yes, I picked up another white tee from Zara, but this one in particular, what I kind of love is that the neck has like that distressed detail, which I think it looks really cool. Um, and I also like always love the fit because they look really slouchy and really comfortable, but the material of this one is really soft. And again, I feel like, like with a whole white outfit in a cremage coat it can look really like white Chris Christmas so I really have been feeling it and of course you know that Sarah brings this with so many colors but of course like always a creature of habit I went for the white one so let me show you how it looks okay so this is the white top I do apologize they are cutting the grass so you're gonna hear and also traffic so yeah um, so this is the white top which I kind of love because as you can see it has a distress on the neck as well as on the arms I mean I'm not wearing a bra so I'm trying to cover myself but just to show you very quickly how it looks and yes I'm wearing it just with the white jeans and some heels and just to let you guys know that you can wear like a whole white outfit and I think it looks really cool um, but I do love these tops again they really are comfortable they're inexpensive so I think they were $12 and yes this one I think is size medium and now although I already showed this one on my channel I feel like it's one of the pieces that I feel like it works great on this uh, haul and you know that I'm gonna talk about my mini animal print skirt um, which I actually mentioned on my favorites and I love it is a denim um, and again I feel like because of the shade it works great with everything that I have or everything with I own everything that I own now, I did try a lot of leopard print tops, but unfortunately, I don't know, I think it was the material that it didn't get me. It felt like polyester, which I'm not a major fan of. I just wanted something like a little bit more into the silk uh, texture, but unfortunately, I didn't find none that I love, so I'm still looking for them. But I did wanted to mention an animal print here and there because you know that leopard snakes is everywhere right now, and I feel like if you don't own a piece, it's like you're not living on this earth. But uh, yes, I feel like this, with maybe with the white t shirt that I show you guys, it's just perfect because I feel like the print just can work so great with any basic top. But yes, have to include this baby out. Let me show you how it looks. Okay, you guys, so here I have the skirt, which, as you guys can see, is basically just denim. But I do like, like it's really high-waisted, and again, I feel like it looks great just with black. I mean, that's my opinion. Or maybe, like, with a white t-shirt, but I love it. I love that it isn't, like, a too heavy print, so, of course, it works great with everything. And also, it's zipper. It isn't buttoned, which is a little bit more comfortable. But I really love how this skirt looks, and I also love... Actually, that is history just right in the middle um, of your legs, but it's really flattering, very beautiful. Now then, this was what I was more aiming for too because I needed a pair of white jeans on my wardrobe. Um, I think I haven't owned a pair of white jeans since almost two years ago, and I think the problem was, and they were from Sarah, I think they were too big on me, so I didn't wear them, but this ones, I decided to invest, these ones are the skinnies, um, and they're almost like a mid-rise, or they're not completely high-waisted, but they look so incredible, like, they just, they're just, just really flattering on you, and these ones, I kind of love also that they're a bit cropped, so it's gonna look perfect with ankle boots, with any of my sandals, and I also, um, happy with the fact that it's almost like enough white so it isn't like this pearly crispy one which i feel like it looks almost like half like a little bit of a worn out um vibe but oh my god now i get why i see people a lot talk about white jeans and i think they make just the outfit pop and obviously i really want to get away from blue jeans for a while just to experiment a little bit so happy that i picked up this white one so let me show you how they look okay guys so i'm wearing the jeans now as you guys can see they're really skinny which i kind of love because i haven't worn skinny jeans in for so long but i really love the fit um they're a bit cropped as you can see i'm wearing it with my rays and they're also a bit see-through so Yes, they show a bit, but um, I could care less. Um, now, I think these ones are size, I think they're Europe 36. Um, but I really love the way that it looks, and I know that I'm going to wear tons in fall. 
And now again, as I mentioned you guys before, you know that obviously I live in a warm weather, so coats for me are not like an everyday thing, but I feel like they're always very good to mention it. For example, if I'm traveling, or maybe there's there's days when it's a little bit cold and I just want to get away with it. So I don't know if you guys remember, last year I bought this one. We actually sort of brought it back, but this time it has a little bit more of cuts here and there, but I'm talking about this um, suede, almost like coat jacket now this thing is really long obviously i'm gonna put it on so you guys can see but i think what i kind of love about this one again it's a shade i think this is described as a tobacco one i don't know to me it's like a camel coat um and i love the lining because again it has that brown pop-up but i feel like with right now with everything that i bought i feel like this coat will look beautiful with everything and again i feel like with the color payoff it's gonna look really cool but again i feel like sometimes you, you you can just go back to your wardrobe check out stuff that you still have in use and then i think like fell in love with them again so i'm so glad that i did with this one instead of just buying a jacket um i decided obviously to go back to this coat so i save a little bit of money there but love it again it comes in a lot of colors i know that it comes in greens i don't know if it is a white but I mean, I got to love this creamy beige, like I'm all over it. Okay guys, now this is the coat. As you guys remember, this was from last year, but just to show you guys how it would look with a whole white outfit. I don't know, I kind of like it because it is, even though that it is feels oversized, I think like it's really fitted on the chest, which I think that works and obviously has pockets, so yeah. But yes, this is basically like the way that I will style right now this coat. And I also love the length because it just hits you right through the knees. Now the only thing that I'm missing is a pair of boots. Unfortunately, these are the ones that I wanted, uh, but my local Sara hasn't brought them yet. I mean, I know there are in a Sara that is close by, but it's almost like two hours away. I don't think I'm gonna make that journey yet, but yes, but I really have been feeling like really dark snake spring uh, boots. I do own ones from last year. We had almost like that crux style, which I think they can work. Let me show you. Which are these ones, which I have worn tons. They still look brand new. I almost have like that Chelsea style. And again, I feel like with the shiny leather, um, definitely these ones I can still work that in. I don't feel like I have the necessity to buy new ones. But definitely those are the ones that I really are flowing my boat. But again, I feel like just a simple um, texture boots can work with everything right now. So yeah, that's all my hands to get. Well guys, this is it. I hope you enjoy my new additions to my wardrobe for fall. Like always, everything is going to be linked below as well as my social media. And if you guys are new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. So this is it guys. I'll see you next time with a video which I think is going to be a styling one. And I think it's all about that animal print mini skirt. So until then, bye.